boys. So I got this uh, Dake one and three quarter Arbor Press that uh, I got on Facebook Marketplace, I think for like $40, so I couldn't pass it up. And I figured, uh, let's uh, get this thing going. We'll get it apart. We'll get it cleaned up. It actually works. It's just, the only thing that's missing is the handle right here and the little daisy wheel. And I think I'll actually get a fabricator or makeup or a little daisy wheel for this. But you can see it works. The guy was a mechanic, kept it outside. He was moving out of town. And I guess for some reason decided that he did not want to bring this with him. The thing weighs a ton, uh, but it's pretty cool. So I figured we'll get it all apart, get it all cleaned up, and uh, we'll kind of make it look nice and fancy. It's got some numbers in here. It's got like the 102 here. We know it's a one and three quarter ton. And uh, same thing it says right over there. Other than that, it's pretty complete and clean. So let's uh, get to taking this thing apart. Looks like they used to beat the living hell out of it on that end. So what we'll do is we'll try to clean that up and make it so it can go all the way up and down. Clean up this right here and sandblasting some of these parts. Some are sandblasting pretty good, so I'm not. Blast cabinet isn't really the best. Air compressor is not the best. It'll work though. sandblast and it's cheap for that. I could wire brush it but I don't nope no wire brush so we'll uh, I'm gonna try a couple of different things and see what happens. Maybe it'll work probably will not work but whatever if any case I'm gonna probably hot flock or powder coat my powder coat a hot flock right over whatever's there and see what happens. I don't really care I got it for forty dollars and I just wanted to make it look good. And I have a feeling the hot flocking will actually work. So I'm gonna to try to get the majority of the stuff off and give it a shot. We'll see what happens. People probably won't like it and say I'm wrong. And they're probably right too, but uh, it's my $40 Arbor Press, so I don't really care. So let's see what happens with a couple of different wheels. Try these to see what happens. Wire brush is really the way to go. I'm gonna probably have to go to uh, Home Cheapo and get some. I don't want to. It probably costs me more than the actual press itself, but it's probably the right way of doing it. We'll see what happens with these. They've been sitting in here for a while, so.
Uh, I might try something else too. Let's, let's clean up a little bit over here. It's not completely paint free, but I'm gonna try something to see what happens. I got it doesn't matter really. It's an armor press. I'll probably never use it. Uh, it'll look good when it's done, most likely. And if not, it's not gonna look any worse than what it did before. So what I'm gonna do? Uh, I'll get from the primer. Get this thing in the oven, 400 degrees. I'll let it sit in there for probably like a good, I don't know, half hour. Or so I don't need it to out gas. I need to get up to temperature. This thing is cold right now. So what I'll do is I'll let it get in there, warm up, and kind of clean it up with a couple little spots a little bit, make sure everything's really clean, wipe it down. And uh, Alka's Friendly Primer, I think I'm gonna do a red or maybe a maroon with a baby blue. Uh, buddy mom was like, hey, why don't you do a dark blue with yellow, but I don't know, really feel like doing yellow. Um, I think the baby blue with the red would look probably pretty cool. I'll tape off some of this up, clean it up, and uh, let's get going from there. So like I said, I'm going to use an outcast from the primer. We'll see how it goes over some of this stuff because it's like it's not super clean, but it's pretty clean right now. If I really cared, I would get it all the way down, sand I don't really care that much. Sure. Swap to get the gun all ready to go for the Alcas friendly primer. Stuff. That's alright. It's just the press. 
Um, so now what I'll do is it's going to go in here. That's the uh, outcast from the primer. 10 minutes. So we'll let that get heat up. That's a pretty, pretty heavy part. Heat up. Come out. We'll shoot this baby blue. Same thing. So got the wide code nozzle and I have the 3D printed little swirl ring in there that I make. So we'll get this all cleaned up and uh, let's wait a few minutes. Okay, now ready to uh, pull it out of the oven. It's got the primer's been on there 10 minutes and I jacked the heat a little bit, try to get some more heat into that main thing. I'm just gonna go right over it with the maroon on where I want the lettering so that I can then go let it cool and do the baby blue after that. Uh, but I'm gonna do a couple of parts in that maroon red so it kinda gives it some accents on it. We'll see how it goes. Worst that happens is uh, it doesn't look good, which is fine by me. So uh, those hot parts are pretty hot already. So I would say probably another, uh, I don't know. Some of them are hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 10 minutes. Uh, I'll do uh, 10 minutes, pull them right on out. The red should be good and go and clear, uh, good to go. And I'm gonna have to let that uh, red, the main base cool um, because I gotta wipe down for the actual letters. I can do baby blue and go in, but I wanna make sure that the letters are raised with the red. So that part's gonna take a little bit longer, which sucks, because then I might just let that go overnight. Tomorrow morning, come back and do just the base, and that's it. So we'll see. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. Uh, everything should be good to come uh, cured. The red parts are gonna come off, go onto another rack. I'm gonna uh, spray a quick uh, thing of baby blue on the front cover plate where the Drake symbol is, just because it's out, I want to see how it looks. Then uh, let everything cool down overnight. Tomorrow, come back with baby blue over the whole thing, wipe down, and that'll be it. Got to make some gaskets. Uh, what else? yesterday and um, came back and this thing was still pretty warm so it's gonna probably take a while to heat up I got the oven going uh, what we're gonna do now is we'll spray the baby blue over the whole thing I screwed up I really should have uh, taped this off but I forgot um, but I'm not really too worried about it it'll clean up pretty good these inside areas I want to go through and clean up anyway so I'm not worried about those but anyway so we'll spray the baby blue we're gonna wipe down where those areas are to get the actual date to stay out in red and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. The other parts came out pretty awesome, they look good, and that's it. So let's get going.
now pretty much we're going to uh, wait. That's going to take a while. That'll probably be in there. For, uh, I don't know. Yesterday was like in there for an hour, so it'll probably be in there for about another hour now because that's things got to get hot up to about 400 degrees. The oven's 400 degrees, but that part is uh, it's got a lot of mass to it, so it'll take a while to heat up. Um, I'll probably clean up some other parts. I'll probably figure out what I want to do for a handle. I don't know what else I'm going to do. These bolts, I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't decided if I'll just paint them black or powder coat them. I do not know, have not figured that out. Maybe I'll just power coat them. Still pretty warm, but I can get it assembled while it's at. I'm gonna clean up some of these spots in here. Um, let's see if it, yeah, so we'll get, get some cleaning up, get out the Dremel, clean this up, and uh, it's a shame, so it's really smooth, but there's a lot on there. I should have taped off or plugged those, really. Not hurt to me too much. And uh, yeah, so let's get going with that. Okay, to make the gaskets for the front of the Dake press, I basically go into Fusion 360. I measured out the old ones, and then I just kind of made the new ones. Pretty basic uh, little gasket. And then I open up Laser GRBL, which is a software that I use with my Atom Stack Laser. And once I'm in there, I'm able to import the image, kind of resize it a little bit as I need to. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward, get it trimmed. And I just go through a bunch of different little settings here. Super easy, I do this with gaskets all the time and it works out pretty well. So I'm just going through the different settings. I like laser GRBL, it seems to work fine for me. Um, I did try light burn, but I don't know, I don't really need it because I do have Adobe Illustrator. And then once there, I'll just plug it over on and you can see it here, cutting out the gasket. Relatively straightforward.
much where I'm going to be with this. It came out, well, pretty, I'm pretty happy. Um, next video, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I mean, obviously this handle is not the best, but it's uh, what I had around. So what we'll do, and the next one is I could get a handle, but I think I'm going to make up some kind of cool handle, but it works pretty nice. The nice little counterweight and stuff like that. Lettering came out pretty awesome. Uh, not too bad. I wish I would have left the little uh, thing on the back powder coated instead of grinding it off. I thought the thing fit on there. Uh, it's my mistake. Stupid, but uh, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. It's uh, a little bit of a beast to move around, so I've got to figure out where I'm going to put this thing in my uh, shop. I don't know where. Somewhere. And uh, uh, Daisy Wheel, I might buy a replacement one or I might make up one of myself too. So... That's it. This is the uh, Dake one and three quarter ton Arbor Press video one. Next one, we'll do the handle and uh, get that going too. That should be pretty awesome. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.